Kiki. Hello, 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 y'all. It's time for Tabby's Tips. You know, I would normally record this on Facebook and then put it on YouTube, but now Facebook got it where you can't even get the video. So that means either you record it twice or don't record it live and put it on Facebook, I guess. But anyway, our topic today is God Knows Your Story. And as always, we start with scripture. So I'm looking in the King James Version uh, of the Bible, but we, let's go with Psalms 139 and uh, 23. And the Bible says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. But I also read it over. I don't know how many of y'all get this, uh, our daily bread, but it's a good uh, teaching tool. Um, because the author always kind of goes into a little bit little bit of detail when he gives you scripture So I want you to just take a listen there at what he had to say which makes perfect sense to me You know if you have a best friend or you have a, a sister or, or a spouse or whoever and they think you they know you better than anything But the truth of the matter is God knows you best. He knows your secrets He knows stuff that you never want anybody to know about you he know all that stuff already. Isn't that interesting? And so maintaining an intimate relationship with who can be your best friend is God. He can be your best friend in the midst of a lot of stuff that's going on. Your, your good times, your bad times, your unhappy times, your joyful times, you know. You got a friend in Jesus. You know that much. Well, let's see what the author says. He was, he was saying uh, he knows us completely. He's familiar with all our ways. He invites us to come to him with our, uh, with our confusion, our anxious thoughts and our struggles and with temptations. And when we're willing to yield completely to him, he reaches out to restore and rewrite the parts of our story that make us sad because we, we wander from him. God knows us better than anyone else ever can. And still he loves us. How about that? Still. He loves us even when we're screwing up, even when we don't want to act right, even when you're in your struggle. And sometimes, you know, some of us think that we're doing so good that we turn away from him and we forget that God is, well, for me, God is my everything. Sometimes we forget, oh, you're doing so good, you forget to pray, you forget to thank him. And, and, and you know, then when you fall down, the first thing you want to do is go run into God. But anyway, that was my thought. But I, have tips, but I have three more tips that I want to give y'all today. One of them is be honest in your communication. So speak your truth. Be honest with yourself. And if you have, if you're holding anything in, you may need to uh, share that so that you can be free of any kind of problems that you might be going through. So be honest in your communication. Okay. Number one. Number two. We're all connected to the the divine who is God um, and he gives us the power to create God envelops us in love with divine inspiration to help make you to help move you forward but all you have to do is be open to receive what he's pouring down into you I gave an illustration of this uh, in the uh, pink power event uh, which um, it was main. It was an illustration that that pertained to my niece and her uh, organization that she has. That's called the Fearless Woman Retreat. And what I got from the illustration that I did was I had a teapot which represents God, and a cup filled and running over which represents me. And the overflow, or ex in this example, it represented her. Uh, because of her overflow, I was able to connect in her overflow to uh, create my sister's keeper. And uh, as an extension of my sister's keeper, Tabby's Tips, because that's where all this stuff uh, derives from. So I was thinking at that particular time that, you know, this is a clear illustration to show her how much I thank her because what she did helped birth what, I, what I'm doing. So you see the connection. And God poured that into her so, he, so she can put it in the atmosphere and then I get my connection and I pour out to the next person so the reciprocation goes around eventually it will come back to her again and uh, 
we thrive off of each other. So we kind of, you know, you have your mastermind. I have a couple of mastermind people that that uh, that I connect to that show that uh, we bounce off of each other. And she is one of them. And then I have my friend, uh, Jackie, who is another one. So we have to be open to the creative uh, juices that God pours out to us, all right? And the next thing I want to talk about is holy love, okay? You are surrounded by love and energy uh and energy your heart is uh full with love and your and your heart is uh, is operating in overflow and goodness now i don't know about you all but i can use some overflow and goodness when it comes to love and uh sometimes when you feel restricted and things not going right we need to understand that if you're operating in overflow where love is concerned then um, everything you give comes back to you. So if you give salt, salt coming back. If you give sugar, sugar coming back. If you give kindness and love, it's coming back because that's your overflow. You don't want to be stuck out, um, you know, sailing alone, being alone, not being able to reciprocate because nobody cares about you. What kind of life would that be? Huh? So let's receive some, let's gain from holy love. Let's Pour our holy love to the next man and just receive from that. Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up in bitterness and meanness. Forgive love and just remember that you're divinely connected to the God, our Father, who provides everything that we need, okay? So this is Tabby's Tips on Thursday. And I'm kind of early today, so I'm surprised myself, I tell you. So anyway, I love y'all. I'll see you next Thursday for Tabby's Tips. All right, have a good one.